Hi, in this demo video, I will show you how you can enable geo-redundant storage for your customers. This feature allows you to protect your customers' data against the disaster or unavailability of a Cronus data center. We replicate data from your primary data center to a secondary remote data center, protecting your data against regional disasters. Even if such a disaster occurs, you will be able to access the secondary storage and recover data and even continue backup. This replication works automatically in the background. You don't have to manage this feature. All operations will be performed by a Cronus Data Center operations team in case of disaster. And first of all, let me show you how you can make sure that this feature is available for you. So I will open settings locations here. In a Cronus Cloud location, we have a Cronus backup storage, and as you can see, geo-redundancy capability is supported. So it means that you can create new customers with enabled redundancy, or you can enable geo-redundancy feature for your existing customers. And now let's see how you can create new customer with enabled geo-redundancy. So I will click new and select customer. And let's now create new customer. I will also create new administrator account. Here we have Cyber Protect Service enabled. So let's click Create to create new customer. And then you will see a list of offering items enabled by default. And if you scroll down to the backup storage, you will see that it also has geo redundancy feature enabled. So it means that for this customer, it's possible to enable geo replication. If you don't need it, then you can click edit and disable this offering item. To finally enable geo replication, we should access Cyber Protection Console and enable a special setting for geo replication. So I will do it and I will click Manage Service. And here you can see that geo redundant storage is available for all data in the cloud. So let's just click here. Click Enable. And now geo-replication is enabled and all data of this customer will be replicated. Acronis Geo-Redundant Storage supports geo-replication of all supported workloads. Now let's double check how you can enable geo-replication for your existing customer. So I will go back to Management Portal and to the list of customers. And here I have some existing customer. So if you scroll down the list of offering items for backup storage, you will see that geo redundancy is not enabled. And to enable it, I should click Edit and enable this checkbox and click Save. So now the offering item is enabled. OK, but as for new customer to fully enable the feature, we should switch to this customer cyber protection console and enable geo replication setting. And I will do it by clicking Manage Service. And there we will enable geo redundant geo replication setting. So I will click here to enable geo replication. So now for this customer, all backup data is being replicated. And now let me show you how you can check geo replication status for individual backup archive. So I have also customer with device and backup, which was already configured with geo replication. So I can go to backup storage, select backup, and if I click on details, I can see its geo replication status. And here, as you can see, it's in sync. So it means that replication of this backup archive is completed and backups are stored in two locations. Other possible statuses are available here, so just click this icon. 
And here you can see that we also have other statuses, for example, syncing. You will see it if you enable geo-replication for some existing customer. And of course, it will take some time to replicate all data. Thank you for watching this video, and I wish you good day. Thank you.